I was there and checked. <laughs> <laughs> Puberty, mate. Deal with it. I still can't grow a fucking moustache or beard. Or a dick. No. Did, are you, did you grow your <laughs> dick still, during I'm puberty? I'm still in the process, but yeah. It'll get there. Good for you. Uh, could you... Is there a way to make the television white? No. Or bright? Brighter? No. No? No. <laughs> I think it's too dark. It's fine. You stay in there. Bless you. <clears throat> Ready? Hello, everybody! No, actually, no. Oh, that's the most enthusiastic hello I've ever done. <coughs> I need my inhaler. 56 seconds this has gone on for. Sorry. Is it? What's a minute between friends? An hour. <laughs> a lifetime. A lifetime on the hips. A moment on the lips. <laughs> oh God. That's what they say. Yeah, I was talking about friends. <laughs> why is your comment? Why is my comment worse than yours? Because I said mine, and you said yours. <sighs> so you ready? Fin finish each other's sentence. Whiz. <laughs> <laughs> Whiz. Whiz. Move. If we were in, if I was in prison, would you finish my sentence? Yes. Thanks. Well. <coughs> Thank God that was recorded. Oh, now I can use that against you in court. That to is. sue the pants off you. Don't. You want me to sue? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I can't <laughs> leave that court alone. This thing's not what comfy. What are you doing? It's not fucking comfy, you Because you've got your foot up your own asshole. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Hello everybody! Hi! My name is Darren. Yeah, it is. And here's Graham. Oh yeah! And we're Let's about to again. talk about... I'm American, come on. Yeah, it was a bit weird. Hello everybody! Hi. My name is Darren. I'm Graham. And we're about to talk about uh, what we did in the shadows, or what we do in the shadows. <laughs> I don't know what, what it's called. What we do in the shadows. Yes, that one. Uh, it's directed by... What's his name? I don't know how to pronounce it. Miscellaneous foreign word. That's not... It's New Zealand foreign, so it's not really racist or anything. Well, it's not racist, it's just a white Waika word. Taikiki or something like that? Waita Taikiki. White, I think it's Waika. Waika Taikiki. Uh, to be honest, I just haven't read it at all. I, can, I have, I, I, but it's one of those where like, I've read it, but I've never thought of a way to say it. Right. I just read it and I recognise the words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so he directed it and started it and wrote it. In fact. Bloody hell, what yeah, didn't yeah. he do? Uh, yeah. Well, he didn't play other characters, he just played one character. Maybe he didn't, he's just a really good actor. No, I recognise one of them. Maybe he's just a really, really good actor. <laughs> right, okay. So, what's the story of the va vampire film? <laughs> vampire film. Well, basically, there's these uh, vampires that came over to New Zealand, uh, started living there, and basically they're just trying to get by. They've got a film crew following them around. It's a mockumentary. So, it's a mockumentary. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, other famous mockumentaries. Blair Witch Project. Yeah. <laughs> right. No, that's not one. No, that's not one. Spinal Tap. Spinal Tap is, is it, the one that everyone's comparing this to. Well, basically anything that those guys have done. Yeah. Wait for Guffman, When the Wind Blows, uh, The Dog One, whatever it's called. The Dog One? Best in Show. Oh, Best in Show, yeah. Cr the Cruft one. Yeah. Um, uh, it's also uh, been hailed as the, the best um, comedy horror since Shaun of the Dead. Who said that? Oh, somebody. Empire or something. Did Empire say one that? One of them. It doesn't matter. Come on. Uh, is it, it the best happen, comedy it horror since Shaun of the Dead? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. I can't think of another one off the top of my head. Um, Black Sheep. Yeah, it's better than Black Sheep. Much better than Black Sheep. I don't um, dislike Black Sheep, but... I never said I did. I Why is this a I didn't say that you said you did. <laughs> so paranoid. You are. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I am. <laughs> uh, so, yes, what did you think of the vampire comedy? Well, <clears throat> you should probably do like a bit of backstory and say that you're the biggest fan of Flight of the Concords the that's world has not, ever seen. That's not true. How many times have you watched it? The entire series from start to finish. What's the most you've ever watched one episode? Probably. What what rough figure are we looking at? Probably double figures, but... Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I'd say about ten. Really? That's... And we're going to probably watch it again soon. Yeah, I can't imagine you not... I can't imagine we... you stopping watching it. No, not for any good any good reason. No. Um, and it is, speaking of Flight of the Concords, it stars Jermaine Clements. Yes, it from does. From Flight of the Concords. Yes, it does. 
Yes. Uh, and also Rhys Darby. <coughs> yes, who we saw live. We did. We, we went in, to, we're, see, in... we're, we're all quite big fans, really. I mean, yeah, you more so than me. I mean, I, I really love like like the Concords, but you're I, you're a bit obsessed. I howl laughing every episode, and that's because it's just brilliantly funny. Yeah. Um, there's lots of subtle. We're talking about the wrong thing. No, I know. Uh, well, it kind of, he he directed the, them both. Taika Waititi. I think that's it. He di- Yeah, he did a lot of the. He didn't do all of them. No, he did a lot. The of guy them. that did the Muppets did a lot of them as well. Let me finish. He did a lot of the episodes of like the Concords. Okay. Can we agree with that at least? I don't know, so I will just trust you. Fine, let's move on. I will trust you. <clears throat> uh, so, um, but the comedy is 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 quite similar, I think. Uh, obviously, yeah. one is vam- New-, New Zealand vampire-based comedy, and the other one is New Zealand is in New York in a little rubbish band comedy. This so, is quite the insight. It's quite the insight, isn't it, for, for yeah. the biggest fan? Yeah, exactly. Uh, <clears throat> for the biggest fan of the show, you've you've noticed the su- very subtle difference that one is a vampire comedy <laughs> set in New Zealand and one's about a band in New York. <laughs> God almighty, I, I, I mean, picked up on that much. I, I didn't I get that. I, mean, I, heard, I didn't understand the show. I haven't heard you say any of that stuff yet. So, <laughs> I just thought you know. it went without saying. Uh, yeah, no, it's really funny. I. It's really funny. I think that did that guy that we're talking about, whose name we can't pronounce, did he do Eagle vs. Shark? Yeah, I didn't like that. You have to watch it again. Okay, I'll watch it again, but it really wound me up the first time. It was just so you're, annoying. You were wrong to be wound up, genuinely. Well, maybe it's it's along the lines of like Napoleon Dynamite and stuff like that, where it's just this maybe inept to watch guy. It again, yeah, yeah, and 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 Brian is in that as the girl's dad. Who's Brian? Brian uh, Sergeant. Who's Brian Sargent? The guy who plays the president in... in Flight of the Concords. In Flight of the Concords. Oh, I really liked in uh, The Vampire Thing, that guy's <clears throat> Jew that they all loved. Yeah, yeah, He's like the most... He wasn't boring, but you didn't do anything. But right. everyone loved him. And everyone was like, patting him on the back. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because, yeah. uh, like, they introduce a different guy into the group. Yeah. And it and they just, like, really kind of turn on him and stuff. And then they just don't he brings in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a human, a non-vampire into the group and, and everyone just loves him and, yeah. and he, even though great. he's nothing he's not like attention seeking or funny or he's <laughs> yeah, yeah. a normal guy yeah, yeah. everyone's like hey Stu <laughs> uh, um, but yeah but, uh, he's he's actually that Stu guy he's in uh, Boy which is Taika Waititi's like first film or something like that oh, yeah quite the fan aren't you I've just been doing a bit of research lately. Wow. Yeah. Specifically for the, not really for this, for my own little sake. Well, that's even better in a way, isn't it? It is. Not pandering. It shows appreciation, it exactly. Does. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm so proud of myself sometimes. Yeah, I'm Not pretty, always. No, not always. not no, rarely. Right. But um, I liked the effects in this. I thought that the effects were quite good. I was shocked, to be honest. Yeah, yeah I yeah. didn't think they were going to be, because I haven't seen anything that they've done where there is a lot of... I think you say before. Like, <laughs> what the fuck have we been talking about for the last eight minutes? Uh, but but the special effects, like when they turn into, I mean, the vampires, it's not really a spoiler. To tell when they turn into bats. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Specifically, I like grabbing each other and throwing them yeah, and stuff like that. really good. Smacks into this uh, I like the bit garage where, like, door. They start to have a fight and they just <laughs> flew up into the air and started like pushing each other with their chests. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then they sat down and everything was kind of calm again. <laughs> yeah, hissing at each other. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and I like that they were still impressed with vampire things, like you'd look in the mirror and you'd hold a cup because <laughs> yeah. you'd have a reflection. You'd just see the cup and he was like, oh, it's a cup, it's a ghost cup. <laughs> it's a ghost cup. Because yeah, that, that is Take Away TV. What do you... Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, apparently it's based on a short film they made previously. So they'd like made it as a short film and now they've made it as a proper film. I'm glad to see it. And BBC film critic Mark Commode, it'll be on the DVD, says... Uh, he doesn't think that it works as a feature film and that it would... He can see that it would work better as a short film and it just feels a bit stretched. He's one of the only people I've heard not love this movie, yeah. for the record. I can see what he's saying. Like, it, can you? I can see that he, he's kind of <clears throat> trying to make a note that it's it, it it's like it's just like a sequence of events. I don't think... That would... I think Calvary's a sequence <clears throat> of events. He does that and he does yeah, that and he yeah. does that. And that's not Chris from Calvary. No. With this, I didn't think it did feel like that. I just felt like it was a story. Yeah. You know, things progressed, obviously, and they went from one thing to another, but it wasn't, like, episodic. No. I guess maybe he's missing out on the fact that it is a mockumentary, so, like, there's a lot of, kind of, moments where it's it's kind of, like, it is just kind of... It's not behind the scenes because it is... Do you know what I mean? No. <laughs> I genuinely don't. I wish you'd throw me a bone. Like, <laughs> try harder to understand what I'm saying. <laughs> try harder to make it clearer. I can't dumb it down anymore for you. It's, uh... Try to make it more intelligent. <clears throat> Maybe I'll get it then. <laughs> the point, my point is that um, a lot of it is kind of just, 
You could just disagree with him and say he's wrong. No, 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 no. Because I, I think he's right to a degree. No, I, don't. I, I, I really enjoyed it, and I, you know, I love it as a, as a, um, as a, as a single piece, as, a, as it is. But I can see what he's saying in that um, the, the events kind of would work better just as a, a quick fire kind of like this really? is a, 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 a month in my life. I would happily watch a sequel to this as long as it was as funny. Yeah, I wasn't bored by the end. No, I, I think it's the funniest film I've seen in a long time. Okay. What else has been out this year? Because we're at the end of That's the year. Funny. Yeah, comedies. American Hustle was that a comedy? Mm. It's kind of a comedy. Uh, uh, I think it's Calvary. Cal well, Calvary. Calvary had more to it than comedy then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like just comedy. This was a yeah. I don't know. Yeah. What we're doing the shadows was aiming more for comedy. It's been ten minutes. Oh. Yeah. Let's call yeah. it a day then, unless you've got anything else to say. Uh, I feel like we haven't said anything yet. We feel quite a bit. You were quite the uh, fountain of knowledge in terms of that guy. Uh, sort of. I just probably yeah. all wrong. Was it all wrong? I'm not was sure. It lies. Sometimes you say lies. <laughs> I do sometimes say lies. <laughs> I, I've forgotten now where the lies end and the truth starts. I. Well. So you're gonna to have to do some research, Mr. Yeah. or Mrs. Viewer. Well, you should anyway. You should just take what people say as face value. You should research it and just <clears throat> you know verify it for yourself. And this is the thing, like you know, we're talking about Mark Commode, and and he's held in quite high esteem with Darren. I, I love Mark. <clears throat> and uh, he just liked this one, but just because he did doesn't mean Darren has to. And em don't. Empire might highly or lowly lowly Empire rate Magazine, Empire Magazine, or Total Film or whatever. They might review it badly and stuff. They but liked it. Like. Dar Darren actually sent me a link today about what I know we're going ma massively off topic. I don't know where you're going with this. But uh, he sent me a thing about uh, Waterworld and it was saying that it was actually okay in the end, even though everyone slates it and stuff. Yeah, okay. But uh, I I've always really enjoyed it. Yeah, Darren well, hasn't seen it. Yet. Watch it. Yeah, I was much younger. Like well, let's watch in the Waterworld same World, then. in the same mind frame. I love like Maverick and Death Becomes Her and stuff like that. Okay. Like that's back in the day. What what? Why my point my point is, watch it and yeah. you might enjoy it. Yeah. And I think just you take our words for it. That was really good. I However, don't think anyone's going to take our words for it. <laughs> However, we think it was really good. So uh, yes, I, I genuinely give it a go and enjoy it. And uh, yeah, please do. Yeah, but we're going to go because this is going on too long. Yeah. <laughs> bye. You look angry. Because you didn't say bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um.